Hello, hello, Flutterflow developers. Hello, friends. So in this video today, we will talk about how to generate PDF in your Flutterflow application. And uh, we will, uh, this will be very simple kickstart kick uh, tutorial. Uh, how we will uh, generate a very simple like contract-like document using API flow and we'll integrate it with our Flutterflow application. We will create uh, some data using this simple form. We'll send this data to APIX flow and we'll create a PDF document and then we'll return URL and we'll render preview on the second page. So let's start. What we need to do first, we will create a new project in APIX flow to generate PDF. So we will connect PDF service and I will name it sample PDF sample, for example. PDF sample. I create this project. And now, as we can see, we have this uh, empty uh, template and we have empty data uh, and we need to create structure of our document of our pdf template and we need to specify our data i will start with preset i will start with business contract preset but i will show also how to uh, we can add own data and how we can render some information how to insert it into this document so as you can see this is like editor where we can edit uh, content of our pdf document here we have our data model and for example if you want to insert a new field somewhere we need to create that field we need to name it for example name it date and select the data type and default value for example i will use something like uh today date i will use something like this and we'll say so my date is string and i will put my cursor where i want to insert this data field and click here so as you can see there will be placed placeholder for my data and in the same way we have placeholders here we have placeholders here and etc so when I changed my template, I need to save it and I can render preview. So as you can see, I have my date here and I have all my uh, data already put into my document when I generate preview. Next step is to publish my project and this will allow us to integrate this generation flow with uh, my project in Flutterflow. So next, when I published, I will download open API definition, go to Flutterflow, click API call section, click upload, upload file, and we'll upload this open API definition into my Flutterflow project. So here I need to copy authorization to from my API flow project and add it to headers in Flutterflow. I add authorization and now I have single action called generate PDF and it will contain already my variables that we specified in my data model and it will have body mapped to that data that we, uh, that we uh, specified in data model. So you can add new fields, then you need to upload, uh, read and load and re-upload your open API definitions and it will be automatically updated, it, it will be updated in Flutterflow. Uh, also, you can manually, manually add any field uh, to variables and add it to a body of uh, this API call and then uh, use it here, uh, add here and use it with your document. Also, you can 
preview uh, sample of JSON here. And also you can import JSON data using this uh, import feature. I will show all the feature of uh, PDF builder of PDF editor and uh, how to edit data in a uh, video in uh, guide uh, related to advanced features. This video is more focused on basic features about integration, about how to start with PDF generation. So next, what we want to do, we want to send data to my uh, API Xflow uh, process and receive my document back. So what we have here, we will have model like ID link and name in result and uh, how we can send data and how we can receive the data. So to receive PDF file back, we can copy this uh, data, go to uh, data scheme, data types and create new uh, data scheme. For example, let's call it PDF file and we'll paste JSON. It will be automatically created. Okay, uh, next we go to my uh, API call and we'll set data type return it as PDF file. So now result of my call will be parsed to PDF file and we will have this information uh, from my uh, PDF file here. We will have a link to that PDF. So now I need to connect my form with my uh, with my API call. How we will do this? We will use create contract action button and we will here we will create a new action uh, backend call API call and what we will do we will call generate PDF. And next, what we will do, we want to send contract number from our field widget state contract number. We will send company name. I have also field for this widget state company. Uh, sorry, widget state company. Next. Uh, company address we will use widget state company address next we will use contractor we will use widget state contractor and sometimes it don't work as expected I don't know maybe I miss something and address I will use widget state address and for date for example i will put just value here i will put like uh today date you can specify any data that you want and api result will be uh, api pdf result for example and now we have this api call set what I will do next, I will go to uh, app value section and will create app state variable. I will call it PDF pass and will use it as a string type. This field I will use to save my value from uh, API PDF result. Add action uh, app we need. Uh, state management, update app state, and we want to set our result of API call to as data type, data structure field, link to our app state. You also can use, if you prefer to use JSON path, you can use JSON body, JSON pass and link 
like this. It will also work as expected. So you can use data type or you can use uh, JSON pass. It's up to you. I prefer to use data types and use them uh, to parse my data. And actually, after we uh, updated our app state, we want to navigate navigate to uh, navigate to the preview contract. Okay, and also here I want to show. Uh, snack bar. Okay. And I will name it uh, creating the contract. And here I will hide my snack bar. bar it will be hidden so now we have this uh, we have this uh, flow we will call generation of PDF then we will update our app state and will redirect our user to preview contract page and here only what I want to do I want to set I have PDF viewer here and I want to set my PDF viewer to P app state PDF pass. So it will be uh, it will be auto set from our mm, PDF uh, pass uh, variable that we store in app state. I will check if I have create contract selected as entry page. Okay, great. And next we can test our application. We can test our PDF generation feature. So my application is loaded and now I can test if it works. Uh, let's put here something like this. We'll use API X4, then some test address. Here I will put name and and click create contract and as you can see my pdf is generated you can use this link to save document you can share it in different ways uh, that is required by your application requirement so this is how you can easily generate pdf using apx flow for flutter flow application in next videos, I will show more advanced features because we support very different features like uh, data tables in PDF or conditions inside uh, PDF. You can upload images, you can uh, generate different media uh, like uh, QR codes, barcodes, and etc. All this is supported and I will record a series of uh, tutorials, of guides to cover all these features. So follow our channel, uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, check uh, these features in API Flow, comment if you have any requests, if you, because we're working, actively working on this module and it will receive many, many updates in few next uh, weeks, uh, I suppose, and then we very actively develop features of PDF generator. So thank you for your attention today and have a nice day.